Am I the asshole? For banning my sill from my house over tomato sauce? I have an older brother, he is married to sill. I get along with her well, except for this one point if you don't keep an eye on her, she will get into the kitchen, and add seasonings to whatever is cooking. She thinks she is fixing stuff, but not all foods need turmeric in it. This Saturday, I received 40 pounds of tomatoes, it took me the whole weekend to turn it into a sauce that I was planning to can. I can it plain, then add whatever seasonings and herbs it needs, depending on the recipe. They came to take a bag of spare clothes for one of their kids, and in the five minutes it took me to get it, she managed to get into the kitchen, add salt, pepper, turmeric, olive oil, garlic powder and Italian herbs to all five of the pots that were simmering on the stove. And when I told asked her what she was doing, she had the audacity to say this sauce needed some taste, I added it for you. Like I've never told her to not touch what I was cooking before. I was so angry that I knew I couldn't be calm talking with her. So I simply walked to my brother, told him to take the clothes and his wife, and that she is no longer welcome in my house. She had followed me, was shocked, started apologizing, but I just ignored her. I added that he should come by tomorrow to take the sauce his wife ruined, because otherwise it would be thrown away, and that I expected 40 pounds of replacement tomatoes. They left, he came back with the tomatoes, an apology letter from her, and an apology carrot cake my fav. But I told him that I stand by my decision. Now my parents got involved since I am the one that usually hosts, and since she is not allowed in my house, I told them to make alternate plans for Memorial Day. My husband says that I am in the right, but my parents say that my reaction is way overblown. So am I the arsehole? Edit since there seems to be some confusion, I am not planning to host for Memorial Day and bot invite her, I said I am not hosting, my parents or my brother should host, and I will attend as a guest. I might be Angie, but I don't want her excluded. Not the asshole. I'm so glad you discovered that she ruined a day's work before you can that mess who does that. I don't know that I'd invite her back into my house again either. Who the heck walks into someone else's house and seasons five different pots? Not the asshole. As someone who made canned tomato sauce from just 20 pounds of tomatoes, it takes forever and is a lot of hard work to get it to the simmer on the stove phase. Maybe you have an electric food mill, but I didn't and it got old and tiring to mill those tomatoes. You should have given her an invoice for your time. Not the asshole. I disagree with her learning her lesson. She obviously has been asked multiple times to stop doing it, and she just continues to ignore boundaries and exert her control. Nope. If you don't keep an eye on her, she will get into the kitchen, and add seasonings to whatever is cooking. She managed to get into the kitchen, add salt, pepper, turmeric, olive oil, garlic powder and Italian herbs to all five of the pots that were simmering on the stove. Question mark like WTF? This is so boundary disrespecting, disrespectful and insulting to what you're cooking. And it wasn't even for her. Not the asshole for being furious. I do think she's learnt her lesson though. Not the asshole. It is never okay to add something to someone's food without their consent or knowledge. Not the asshole garlic is alkaline, that would entirely change the processing times to safely can the tomato sauce she has no idea what she is messing with, the safety of your preserves for the next year. You are entitled to hold to your boundary even after her apology. A cake is a nice gesture but by no means is it enough to buy your trust back. Not the asshole. I won't be hosting her anymore since clearly she doesn't like my cooking. But I'm sure she and brother will be happy to host since she's so eager to demonstrate her skills in the kitchen. Not the asshole. Canning is a pain in the butt and you need to follow a recipe to make it safe for canning. Adding random spices and oil? I would have been livid. And if those had been my homegrown tomatoes that might be an unforgivable offense. 40 pounds of replacement tomatoes doesn't make up for the time blanching, 
peeling, seeding, and cooking down to a sauce consistency. I also can plain sauce and then add to it when I open it to make a meal. Not the asshole. This is an ongoing problem that is obviously not going to stop until cheese no allowed near your food and that's what you've done. Good for you. Not the asshole. Jesus Christ, I'm so upset on your behalf, I think my head might explode. The ever-loving fucking gall. Not the asshole I'm a canner to and I'm fuming for you. 40 pounds generally takes me around 6-8 hours to process and then cook time. This isn't just changing the flavor of a recipe, but making it unsafe to can after hours and hours of labor. It's disrespectful and wasted your time and money. Has she been confronted about this before now? If boundaries haven't been directly and clearly set prior though I might have a conversation and give her a chance to be better. Just reading that made me mad on your behalf. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. It's incredibly entitled and selfish to walk into someone else's kitchen, tamper with their food, and then insult them and their ability to cook by claiming to have made the food better. This feels like it's the first time your sill has truly faced the consequences of her meddling. Maybe she'll learn her lesson and stop touching other people's things. Turmeric does not belong in everything. Not the asshole. She can host now. Not the asshole. Her complete lack of respect in not respecting your boundaries is only exceeded by her inability to understand why you never so much as touch somebody else's craft or art without their permission, let alone start changing it. If it was me, she'd never be coming back into my house. I wouldn't care how many apologies I got from her because from my POV I'd figure the only thing she's sorry for is her behavior causing a scene. I'd reckon she doesn't understand why her behavior was wrong in the first place. Not the asshole. The audacity of Syl. As for the suggestions that you let her back in since it sounds like she learned her lesson, that's up to you. But if you choose to let her back, might take it slow, and see how she behaves. Have some low value stuff on the stove and see what she does with it. If she repeats she's banned. Alternatively, she's banned now and has to earn your trust and forgiveness before she's allowed back in. Not the asshole she thinks she knows better and she absolutely doesn't. Is she aware of all party attendees allergies and intolerances when she comes in playing Nigella? What she's doing is not only tasteless no pun intended, because literally what kind of know-it-all rolls into someone else's kitchen and adds things but potentially harmful if she's just adding things willy-nilly. Not the asshole, your parents can't stand her in their house either, eh? Why can't bro and sill host? Would be fitting. Then you can ruin her cooking instead. Not the asshole I would have been so pissed that's a lot of work and no you have to redo it. Even if it was a simple dish no one should go into someone's home and fix their food. The disrespect. Not the asshole. I love my meal but her cooking is a little lacking in the spice department for my tastes. Do you know what I do? I keep a bottle of cayenne pepper at her house in case I want to jazz my plate up a little. Sometimes I even eat the bland to me food because it's polite and just not that big of a deal. Your sill sounds pretty insufferable. Trying be nice and helpful is actually her being incredibly disrespectful. Not the asshole. You can always reverse the ban later if she can prove she won't keep messing with other people's cooking. Not the asshole, I'd be absolutely fuming if I had to repeatedly tell someone not to tamper with my food. She's being disrespectful, plain and simple. While I do agree they seem to have apologized, it doesn't make up for the past occurrences. I would lose my shit. How dare she go into your kitchen in your house and do that. She didn't know what the sauce was for like WTF. I'd never let her in my house again. I think some of these commenters don't understand how much time effort she ruined. Aside from how potentially dangerous this could have been. They came to take a bag of spare clothes for one of their kids, and in the five minutes it took me to get it, she managed to get into the kitchen, add salt, pepper, turmeric, olive oil, garlic powder and Italian herbs to all five of the pots that were simmering on the stove. 
WTF was your brother doing? Not the asshole. I'm angry reading this. Who the fuck does that? What if you were making it for someone and she added something they're allergic to and fucking killed them? Not the asshole. Also, remind everyone that food tampering is a crime. Punishable with jail time. I would sprinkle turmeric, garlic powder, Italian herbs, salt and pepper on the cake and send it back with this note there, I fixed it. My sister's bill, a chef, would do this all the time. One big problem was he would always add wine, and we had some recovering scuba who then wouldn't touch it. He did this many times even after being asked to stop. He'd say no problem, the alcohol burns off. But it wasn't up to him at all. I'd let your sill host events for a while. Let her cook and do the work. Your parents are wrong and should support you. She needs to learn no means no and to keep her nose out of your kitchen. I'd be so angry. Particularly be after all the work you did. Not the asshole to put it mictly. Definitely not the asshole sill is obnoxious. Not the asshole, and while I do think eventually you can lift the ban on her coming to the house, this first event Memorial Day, you have to keep a hard boundary down. Right now, she's apologized, sent cake, tomatoes replaced, all great. But the weight of the punishment is in the banishment, and it's important she feels the heaviness of exclusion before allowing her back in.